Hello and welcome to this Dr. Frost Maths video on midpoints. Now what I mean by midpoint, if I just take this example here, is if I have two coordinates, let's just say that I've got point A, which is at 5, 6, and I've got a point B, and it has coordinates, say, I don't know, 7, 10, and I was to draw a line between them, I might want to know what point is exactly halfway between 5, 6 and 7, 10. And the way you do it is you just need to find what's halfway between the x values. So what's halfway between 5 and 7? Well, what's halfway between 5 and 7? It's 6, isn't it? And what is halfway between 6 and 10? Well, 8 is between 6 and 10. Now, sometimes, like here, for example, um, by, by just thinking about a number line you can do in your head, because halfway between 6 and 10, if I just draw in a number line, and I went halfway between 6 and 10, you can clearly see that it's 8. So 8 is halfway between the 6 and 10 for the y values, and 6 is halfway between 5 and 7 for the x values. But sometimes the numbers are a bit harder, so there is sort of a formula. Um, you just find the mean of the x values, and you should know that to find the mean of two values, you just add them together and divide by 2. So we just do 5 plus 7 divided by 2, that's 12 divided by 2 is 6, and indeed, look, we have 6 there, and 6 plus 10 divided by 2, we're finding the mean of those two numbers, gives you 8, and indeed the y value is 8. So those combined gives us 6, 8. So let's use that for these particular questions here. Uh, we don't need to draw it if we know this method, so 1a, the midpoint of 2, 7, and 8.17. Well, if we use this method to find the mean, with the mean of the x values, you've got 2 and 8, so 2 plus 8 divided by 2 to find the mean, that is 5. And then if we look at the y values, 7 plus 17 divided by 2, that's 24 divided by 2 is 12, so we get the point 5, 12, that's the midpoint. But you could have done that in your head, to be honest, with these particular values if your mental arithmetic is good. Um, right, so 1b, we've got 3, 0, and minus 7, 5. Well, if we do the x values first, it's 3 plus negative 7, so that's effectively 3 minus 7, because when you add a negative number, you subtract it over 2. So that's minus 4 over 2. And minus 4 divided by 2 is just minus 2. Because a negative number divided by a positive number is negative. And if we do it for the y value, so that was the x value. If we do it for the y values, the y value is 0 plus 5 divided by 2. And that's 5 over 2, or we could write 2.5 if we wanted. So that gives us the midpoint. The x value was minus 2, and the y value was 2.5. Now, 2 is a bit more interesting. This time we're given the midpoint. So 2, 6 is the midpoint of minus 1, 4 and some other points to determine the coordinates of B. So if we just kind of try to visualise this by drawing it, we've got two points. These, these might not be like to scale um, or in the right position. We've got A minus 1, 4. We've got a midpoint, which we're told is 2, 6. And then we've got this mystery point B, which we don't know the coordinates of. Now here I would just kind of use kind of common sense. So 2 is halfway between minus 1 and what? Or another way of thinking about it, well to get from minus 1 to 2 on the x values from this value here to this value here, can you see that the x value has gone up by 3? So if we go that same distance again, the x value must have gone up by another 3. So look, you can see from here to here, it's gone up by 3. So the x value must go up by another 3. And that means the x value, well, 2 plus another 3 would be 5. And we do the same for the y values. Look, the 4, it's gone up by 2 to get to this y value here of 6. So it must be, as we move along to here, we go up another 2. 6 plus an extra 2 gives you 8. And we can see, therefore, it's 5, 8. Now, sometimes you get questions where instead of the midpoint, you actually need to find a point between two other points where the distance is split in a certain ratio. So, the point M lies in the line AB where A and B have coordinates, blah, blah. Determine the coordinates of M if 
we've got this ratio. So let's try to visualize this. We've got A, which is 3, 5, and B, which is 15, 65. And we're told M is somewhere on this line, such so a ratio of AM to MB is 1 to 2. So if I put M here, it's saying the ratio of AM to M to B is 1 to 2. So if I just write that on there, the ratio is 1 to 2. And that looks about right because look, that looks double the length of that. So we can see it's not the midpoint, it's just some fraction of the way along. And for this one, we could sort of use a formula, but I think it's just better to kind of use intuition for this. Um, what fraction of the way are we across? So. If you think about ratio, in total we have three parts here, 1 plus 2 is 3, three parts, and we want one of those parts, so one out of those three parts. That means we're a third of the way across. Another way of thinking about it, let's say that was one kilometre and that's two kilometres. In total we've got three kilometres, we're going one kilometre across, that's a third, isn't it? So we want to go a third of the way across. And the way to do it is basically to go a third of the way across the kind of x values and a third of the way across between these y values. So if we sort of think about the x values here, we got three here, we want to, we eventually get to 15 at b, and we want to go a third of the way across, yeah? Now, what is the distance between three and 15? Well, we can see it's going up by 12, isn't it? So we want to go a third of that across, where a third of 12 is 4. So we basically want to plus 4 and we'll get to 7. That will be a third of the way between 3 and 15. So that means the x value is 7. And if you think about the y values, we want to get from 5 eventually to 65. But we want to go just a third of the way across. Now we know this total way across, we've moved 60 across. But we only want to go a third of that. So a third of that would be 20, and that gets us from 5 to 25. So that gives us the point, well, the x value we said was 7, and the y value we said was 25. So that is the answer. Now if we just do b, we've got the same again. This time the ratio is 3 to 1, so kind of about here, I'd say because then ratio 3 to 1, we can see that's roughly about 3 times that. So what fraction of the way across do you want to go this time? Well, imagine that's 3 kilometres, 1 kilometre, that's 4 kilometres in total. You're going 3 of it across. That's 3 quarters, isn't it? So let's do the same again. So we've got x here, so that's 3 quarters of the way. We've got x here. We start from 3, we're going to 15. Now we can see that it's gone up by 12 but we want to go three quarters of that. Three quarters of 12 is nine, and three plus nine is 12. So we'll end up at 12 on the x value. And then do the same for y. We're getting from five to 65. We want to go three quarters of the way across. In total, it's going up by 60. Now we want to go three quarters of that way up. What's three quarters of 60? Well, it's 45 and 5 plus 45 is 50. So that means we get a coordinate of 12 and 50, and that's the final answer.